Hello guys, and today it's another review and it's on the rage fire. This is a really great blaster. Let's get into the review. So this is an action blaster that is obviously a minigun or to be more correct, it is a Gatling gun. It is a motorized chain fed full auto blaster. Let's go over the review actually. At the front we have this rotating barrel which rotates when you try to fire it. It's really really great. Also when you when it rotates it rotates a wheel and this chain so basically you can just rotate it manually only thing you actually have to do with electronics is the flywheels. Of course we have a tripod that comes with it. It is this standard plastic tripod and it's actually really good. It's sturdy and this is the shortest form you can extend it by just uh, rotating it into the to the right so opposite of tightening a screw you can extend it and it has this like little indents which you can snap on and then you just tighten it and it's okay uh, once it's like this it's about below my waist so it's not made for uh, adults, it's made for kids, obviously. Uh, now my chain kind of detached itself, but that is not important. Actually, let's get it out of the blaster. So it's a bit easier. Well, the firing mechanism is the chain rotation system. You see these little two tools? Well, they rotate your chain. You put it in this side up, so this little hole has to be facing upwards, and you have to this little piece has to be facing back. You just put it in, and to put it in, first you need to push this back to unlock the system, allowing you to freely, freely rotate the chain and to freely. Uh, to freely load it in if you do not keep it always loaded you can detach it and you can attach multiple and you can buy multiple also uh, to fire it actually the trigger mechanism right here is a push pull down style mechanism so you push it to rev it and then to fire it when you push it you pull it down That is actually pretty simple and these grips, you have both two of them, so it's kind of a Gatling style grip and you can hold it like this comfortably. Sorry for the audio, I do not have a microphone yet. I do have one but it's too short. I will buy one very very soon. And right on this side you have this battery door. Also you have stickers on both sides. Yes, there are stickers, but please they put something on the other side. Of course, we do have these attachments. So, let me talk about the attachments a little bit. This is a four-sided attachment that you put on the blaster and then you can attach either these dart holders that hold many darts. <laughs> I forgot how many, I'll put it up on the screen. And you got this attachment that can also attach other insanity series blasters that is really cool although not very practical and you get two of them and you get two of these attachments I'll pull them off because they are a bit big now it's a much clearer clear, clearer but we also have this scope which is a plastic side scope no zoom no anything but it is pretty cool even though it has this like little tooth mechanism it's not compatible with and so it crails it's uh, just a bit too long so you have these like picatinis here here one on this side and one on this side you see this well when you attach the tripod which by the way you attach by unscrewing this 
and then putting in the tripod inside like this and then lining it up it is really hard this way okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, not important right now, uh, but you can just pull it in like that, and now it's stuck. Okay, I got it. So now it's attached, but as you can see, right now it can go like this. But if you push this switch forward, now it stands at basic horizontal line. It's nice because it doesn't tilt as much and it's much more stable. I do advise you turning off the switch when you go to attach this because it's easier to line it up then. I did not do that right now so it was extremely hard. But Those are basically all the attachments you get. You also have this little handle up here, which has two point hinge system. So this is a hinge and then this little thing swivels. So it's very comfortable and it's really, really big. You can get your whole hand in there. You have two sling attachment points, one right here and one right here. And they are pretty good. And actually this plaster is the best to use with sling. And, of course, these grips are really nice, although they are a bit small. Now, the build quality on this blaster is exceptionally good. Actual blasters are known for their bad or subpar quality. But, actually, this blaster has really good quality. For the most part, the barrel is a bit thinner plastic. At least, these black pieces. One cool fact. You have these six barrel voltages, but you only got four on the barrel. That is weird and that's what they did on the Crusher and the Omega, but they're both the same blasters. Now, <laughs> let's get a breather. I would like for you to subscribe and like this video. I actually put the most effort ever into this video. I even wrote a script. I Make I made an actual thumbnail. Yay! But yeah, anyways, just subscribe and like and I will have more motivation. Anyways, now that I said this, we'll go to the firing range. And of course, at the firing range, this blaster is fully automatic and shoots at around 5 minutes a second. Let's go! Okay guys, now we are at the firing range and we have these included insanity darts. And uh, I'll be only firing them as they're the only good dart that I have. Also, we'll be firing them non-stop. So, um, yeah, this is a minigun. You don't burst fire it. Let's go. Oh, was that good? Let's get back inside. This shoots hard. This shoots basically better than any Nerf Blaster I ever tried, other than maybe the Fang. But that's mainly because of the six double A's that it uses. Not only does it rev up really fast, and it also has a great rate of fire, it doesn't get bogged down and shoots in the 35 to 50 feet without needing to burst fire. And it's full auto. This is great performance, you're not even sacrificing performance even though you have this huge barrel. But look at the diameter of this barrel, it's, it's huge. This whole blaster is huge. But I can hold it with one hand. And even this is possible. And this is much better. 
This blaster is great. I only have a few gripes. First, the grips are a bit wobbly. You, you can see it, but when you hold it, that hurt my soul. If you hold it with one hand, it's not really noticeable, and sometimes I even like that. These grips are also sometimes twisty, sometimes not. It does not matter. This grip can be flexed like that uh, it's not good but it, again sometimes it's better the only gripes i have is this isn't openable so you gotta put it through this hole which i hate but it's great it, it's amazing literally there's nothing to complain about this actually there is one thing and that's the price you remember the titan well, it costed a hundred dollars. This costs 90 euro in my country. But did I get cut off? But I got it off to sale for 46, which basically every single one of you is going to find this at that price. But honestly, it is great, even for $96, if you had to choose between this and the Titan, yeah, I wouldn't choose the Titan, the magazine is what makes the Titan good, and maybe the looks, but not with the normal magazines, this is just great, and by the way, you can just use it like this, <laughs> this is really impractical, but you can use it. And it's really, it's really good, and I know I'm just ranting. But if you have the money, and you do not need anything else, or you're not real sure about buying anything else, buy this. This is worth your money. <sighs> so that was all the re about the review, I hope this was shorter. Anyways, <laughs> my name is Nick C, bye bye.